This video will create a Docker container for a .NET project and will push that project to AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So let's get started. First, in this uh, web API, I will make uh, just a small change. I will remove this uh, controller here and uh, the route will be uh, the empty route and uh, our app will simply return the default uh, weather so that is not important what is important is to create a new docker file so new file docker file so make sure also to have installed docker in your machine and let's start with uh, from uh, we need uh, the image that we want to start so I will uh, write Microsoft uh, container registry uh, Microsoft dot com slash dot net slash SDK so we'll start with the version 5 so uh, this is uh, the a container that uh, will start and it will have have uh, the SDK already installed in this container and uh, I will name it as build so this will be a multi-stage docker build and uh, I will explain it later why I name it like this so let's start with uh, the working directory I'll name it up so uh, uh, we you can specify whatever folder that you want I will name it like this and here we'll copy the uh, C-sharp project so all dot C-sharp uh, project so like this and we will copy to the working directory so uh, this project will be copied to this dot means this working directory and uh, after it's copied we run the command dot net restore after we run the com ra that command we will copy all in that folder again so this will get all the files here and it will copy to the working directory and after we copied all the files we need to publish uh, to a DLL so to to do it we run the command run dot net publish uh, we need to specify release and uh, it will, the output will be in the out folder and that's it for the first stage so uh, let's run this command in our uh, local machine to see what this does generate so if we run this command we will uh, get uh, an out folder here where we will have a lot of files uh, the one that uh, we are interested in is uh, this uh, .NET docker dll so uh, we're interested only in this file and we can ignore all the other files that's why we use now a multi-stage build because uh, this will contain all the files and also the output but uh, this other container that we will build now so from uh, I'll copy this .NET and uh, we will specify AS ASP.NET here this other container will have the same working directory uh, but don't confuse this working directory with this one because there are different containers and uh, we will copy from the build so from this build we'll copy up which is the working directory there out so we'll copy everything in the out folder to this dot which is this working directory so we, will, we created another container with only the out folder so it is a smaller one and uh, what is left is to add an entry point 
dot net and we will execute dot net docker dll and that's it so in the end we have a lighter docker container which is just a dll so we can execute it so uh, we finished with uh, this uh, docker file let's build it so to build a docker file run docker build and uh, we want to specify a name for this docker build and uh, we can specify a name by adding minus t up uh, that is the name that we want to build and uh, we will add the context which is a dot so this will execute this docker file so it's building let's wait till it's completed so the container has been built and now we it is ready to be pushed to the cloud but before let's test it on our browser to test it on our browser we have to run uh, this uh, container uh, we need to specify the port so inside of the container the port is 80 but uh, in our local host we can put whatever port we want i'll put 8888 and the name of uh, our container was up so let's run this and uh, it's successfully running now so if we open our browser and uh, write here localhost port 8888 we can see this is a json that uh, is returning this uh, weather forecast so it's working fine so this uh, container has been built and now we need to push it to the cloud i will close also this uh, ide because we don't need it anymore so i'm logged in now to my aws management console and uh, we will push now our docker container to the elastic container registry so i have a shortcut here or we can search it so let's go to the container registry and uh, uh, this is the container registry uh, let's uh, see the repositories so we don't have any repositories or registries uh, we have to create one so uh, we will push our docker container here to have uh, our uh, reg repository first before we do anything make sure to install the aws cli so go to aws.amazon.com slash cli and uh, on the right side here you can download the windows version the mac os version or the linux version so with this you will have access to your terminal to aws and you have uh, several commands that you can use so now let's first log in to elastic container registry by using this command so uh, aws ecr is elastic container registry uh, this is a command to login this is the region uh, region us uh, is 2 pipe docker login the username will be aws the password uh, we it will be generated by this one so uh, that's why is password std in and uh, this uh, other url is like uh, this is our user id so we can find that uh, if we go to our account you, we have the id here so that's it and uh, dot docker dot ecr this is also the same region and amazon aws.com let's run this command and uh, we successfully logged in and uh, now what is left is to push our docker container to the elastic container registry so to do that we have to do docker tag uh, the name of our container was app and uh, i will copy again this url so we have to tag it to this url slash in the end app so uh, the name should be the same here and this url we'll use it a lot so let's tag this 
and uh, after we tag it we have to push it so uh, remove tag to push and uh, let's wait till it's completed so uh, we get an error that the repository with name app does not exist so let's create it uh, we are here at the repositories and let's create a repository uh, so this is the same URL and uh, it will be up so uh, I'm uh, just checking the region if it is the same so uh, this will be a private repository this is the repository name and uh, I will leave the others by default let's create this repository and uh, we created it so let's uh, push our image now not here here docker push and now it's pushing so uh, this uh, will take some time and uh, the image will be pushed to the repository so our image has been pushed so if we go to our repository we have uh, one latest image here the size and everything else so we have our image in our repository i'll copy the uri here for the repository because uh, we will need it and now let's go to amazon container service elastic container service ecs and here go to the clusters and we will create a cluster so uh, i will select uh, the AWS Far Fargate uh, cluster because uh, it will uh, take care of the managing of the server for us if you want to manage your server uh, select this other one but uh, this is way easier if we select uh, AWS Fargate so let's go next uh, the cluster name so my app and uh, I will create a default v VPC for this uh, cluster and uh, I won't uh, select anything else let's create it and uh, let's wait till this is completed so the cluster is created click uh, view cluster and now we need uh, a task definition so go to task definitions and let's create a new task definition so i'll select fargate next step the task definition name i'll call it up uh, the role i'll select none and uh, the network uh, mode i'll select the default and uh, for the task memory 0 0.5 gigabytes this cpu so i'll select the minimal versions and uh, the container here we need to add the container that we just copied so this container and the container name it will be also up uh, here we need to set up the port so 80 was the port inside the container so we have to map it here and uh, we can add also other configurations but i won't add any so let's add this and we added our container there and uh, that's it basically let's create this uh, task definition so it was successful and now let's go to our cluster and uh, here now we can create our service so uh, this will be also a fargate uh, we need uh, the task definition uh, that we created so uh, Amazon will automatically assign it uh, we need a service name so app so we have a lot of apps with names number of tasks I will select one but you can select two it will create two containers uh, one it will be only one container so I will keep everything minimal but you can select two and uh, everything uh, should be uh, okay now so let's go to the next step subnets i'll select uh, one of these options and uh, i'll assign a public ip yes load balancer i will select none and uh, next step 
uh, here we can uh, auto scale but uh, since uh, this is uh, an example I will not auto scale so it will be just a simple container review create service so everything is created so let's go to the view service and uh, let's uh, click here and uh, the status is pending let's wait till uh, is uh, uh, running and then after it's running we will have a public IP which uh, we will see it let's wait so our task is running now and we have a public IP for it so I'll copy this IP I'll paste it here and uh, this is our app so this is how we deploy a docker container to AWS Fargate thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you